Can you just frame for people, you know, uh, how he began to not only rebirth uh, the Los Angeles Lakers net, uh, uh, basketball team, but also the whole sport of basketball? Right. So he, at the time that Jerry bought the team, and he had a, an incredibly storied life before he even got involved in sports. Um, he said he became a doctor of chemistry. He was teaching it. He was working for the aerospace industry and then got into, um, you know, buying things once his real estate empire took off. But he was the first one to put music at games, at professional basketball games. He was the first person to put cheerleaders at professional basketball games. He was the first guy to change the name of the stadium in order to pay off his creditors. Um, and he just he realized that sports wasn't like rebounds and points. Sports was theater. Sports was entertainment. And he uh, he opened it up in a way that every single sports organization in the whole world to this day is still using stuff that Jerry innovated in 1979, which incidentally in America in 1979, basketball was being beat on TV in the ratings by bowling and bas and uh, <laughs> golf. bowling and golf were in uh, in front of basketball. Oh my goodness me! But the show is really captivating people because of all of these people behind the scenes. You know, there was Pat Riley who ended up becoming one of the winningest coaches in in basketball history at the time. Was like an out of work ex player who got a job at the broadcast table, and he ended up becoming like one of the most dominant coaches in the whole league, when I don't think anyone else has taken that path. But yeah, there's, you know, the story of Jerry's daughter, who was like 18 at the time. She's now the president of that of that organization to this day. I mean, there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on. That first season from 1979 to 1980, Jerry, I mean, any mortal man would have like gotten one of these setbacks and said, all right, God, I understand it's not meant for me this year. Jerry just kept pushing. You know, he lost the coach. He lost the money. He, I mean, everything that could have gone wrong along the way went wrong until it all finally went right. And he pulled off this incredible miracle of a season and then changed the world. You know, 